In this module, you will learn how to display payments not linked to an invoice in the left list of the GES PAY function and the payment proposal. You will offset or match the open invoice items, unallocated payments, and payments either received or issued. Benefits include increased customer satisfaction and efficiency. An unallocated payment is any partial payment of an amount that is owed either to the Sage X3 user or by a Sage X3 user that has no reference to a specific invoice or order. If the Sage X3 user receives a payment from a customer or sends a payment to a supplier without making reference to a specific invoice, it can be designated as an unallocated payment. Unallocated payments or receipts should not be mistaken with down payments or prepayments that are linked to an order. Unallocated payments have no such link and do not involve VAT. Under the following circumstances, you will not be able to match an invoice to an unallocated payment. In GES PAY or PAY PRO PAL, when the amount of the unallocated payment exceeds the open item invoice, or when the amount of the unallocated payment corresponds to the invoice open item amount. In this case, matching must be done in the manual or automatic functions. If the transaction cannot be completed, you will receive an error message saying, Null amount. It will appear in GES PAY and there will be no match between payment and invoice. Additionally, in the PAY PRO PAL function, no payment will be processed. Let's take a look at working with unapplied payments and receipts in our system. Under our APAR accounting, invoicing, customer BP invoices, we have an invoice entered in for the bike and toy company of $6,000. We also have an unapplied a payment under APAR accounting, payments, payment receipt entry. We'll come down to the RECCH entry type. And notice that we have an unapplied entry. It is not going against any open items. And if we come down to the open item drawer, we only see our open item of $6,000. We do not see our previous unapplied payment. If we would like to see this payment when we select our open items, we can go ahead and set that up. Under our accounting document, we want to see what document type this payment goes to. So I'll select the journal entry and I will select the entry type, which is my document type. I'm going to jump to it, and I need to make sure that Open Item Management is turned on for this document type, and then I save my changes. The next thing I need to do is make sure my parameter is set. I'm going to go to my parameter entry by going under Setup, General Parameters, Parameter Values. I'm going to come into my Accounts Payable Receivable, which is TRS Chapter, and I'll come down into my Legislation for USA. I will open up my Payment Entry group, and I'll go into the detail. In here, we have a P-A-Y-U-N-A-L-L for Unallocated Payments. I'm going to change this to a yes. And then I'm going to OK my change, click OK, and save my changes. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out. I'm going to go back into my payment entry screen under APAR Payments, Payment Receipt Entry. I'll come back down to my RECCH. -E 
and I'm going to enter in a new payment. It'll be for my site NA011 and my business partner NA012. I'll put in my bank. And now when I click on my open items, notice I will see my original invoice as well as my unapplied payment. I can select both and I don't even have to click on the check boxes. I can go ahead and just click on the line and my unapplied invoice and my invoice are dropped into my grid. I can then put the difference in for my amount and enter my check number and create my payment and post it. And now you can see that I've been able to match up my unapplied payment with my invoice when I did my second payment. In this module you have learned how to display payments not linked to an invoice in the left list of the GES PAY function and the payment proposal.